Well, hey guys, what's up? What's going on out there this morning? Hey, it's Brent Abel here, webtennis.com. Another episode of What's the Right Shot, number 404. Yeah, we are an hour late today. Spectrum decided uh, to go down this morning here in the desert for a couple of hours, but we are uh, back up and hopefully we will stay back up at least through this episode. Uh, I'm just solo this morning. Jeff's on the road uh, going to parts unknown. But uh, so we're going to make this real tidy and uh, quick. I've got to get out in the court uh, here soon anyway. So um, let's, without further ado, let's let's get rocking here. And um, yeah, thanks for uh, thanks for showing up, guys. I appreciate it. Uh, let's see. Where's my video? Here it is. Okay. It's right here. I'm going to move this out of the way uh, right there. And we'll get started. And look, this is uh, another point from a match. Oh, hold on. Oh, hold on. Let me let me turn that down just a hair. Sorry about that, jeepers. Uh, there we go. Another point from Glenn Busby uh, a few years ago, uh, Australia. This was during the 60 hard courts, uh, which he won. Um, this is the finals. And what we're going to look at here is a topspin backhand passing shot. And uh, I actually want to kind of work on the swing tech part of it, the very last part, because it's really crucial that, that you get this part right. I think what happens here is that um, unless you're really experienced and you realize that you've got time, you've actually got time to finish the stroke uh, in this way that I want to show you. Um, and is is that if you don't, if you just sort of perceive right here, oh my God, I got to rush, I got to get through this thing there, I'm going cross court, I'm going up the line, maybe I'm going right back at the guy. But but the the natural instincts, when you've got someone who's up there on top of or inside the service line, and you're lining up to play a, pa a, a passing shot, especially on the topspin backhand, um, is that we have a tendency to rush through it. We have a tendency to cut off the finish a little bit too early, thinking that we need to get ready, you know, in case we don't hit a clean passing shot, right? In case the guy guesses. I mean, we could, we could laser this thing perfectly an inch inside the cross-court line or an inch inside up the line. But if the guy right now starts to make a guess as to where you're going and he gets there, that's that voice that kind of pops up going, you know what, you better get ready real soon. So, look, um, before we get into this, on the other side of things, uh, a topspin forehand. Look, if your topspin forehand is not behaving, if you're over at YouTube right now, down below in the description area, there is a link that will take you to uh, my topspin forehand course. It's just three simple steps three simple swing step, uh, swing step, swing tech steps. And, uh, um, yeah, I wouldn't go over there right now, but, uh, wait, wait until we're done with today's episode and then go on over uh, and check it out. If you're over on Facebook, uh, if you're on Facebook, there's not a link there, but there is a link in my email. So anyway, let's get back to, um, let's get back to this point. And look, there's, there's a lot of great stuff in, in this point. A lot of strategy, a lot of shot choice strategy, a lot of court positioning strategy. And, um, you know, and, and Glenn Busby, who's on this side of the court, really just kind of working the point, right? Kind of taking what's what's given to him. A lot of high bouncers, right? He's playing some underspin backhands. He's playing some topspin backhands. But um, the bottom line is he's just waiting for his moment here until he gets something. And look, his opponent plays a very tough shot. And now here it is right here. I think we stopped it right about here. Now, here's what I want you to be thinking about. Obviously, if you've been with me at any time at all, you know that, that I, what I always think about with a passing shot is it has to be a two-shot mindset. And the reason is, just like I said before, you can't stop that guy over there from guessing where you're about to play it, whether it's cross court or up the line or maybe right back at him, right? You can't stop them from anticipating based on whatever info they've got as to where you're going to play this, this passing shot. And look, I mean, if, 
if you look at this, I mean, this is not the deepest approach shot of all time, right? It's just, I mean, smack dab right there about halfway between, if not a little bit shorter, between the service line and the baseline. So, you know, Glenn is, is well set up on this. And so his opponent really is, um, you know, probably going to have to guess. So again, I want you to always be thinking, this is a two-shot play. And since it's a two-shot play, guess what? You get to take your time, swing tech-wise, on this first part right here to execute it perfectly the way that you want to, right? I would tell you that you've got to make sure that you've you've got clarity as to what your your shot choice is, right? Is it going cross-court? Is it going right back up the middle? Is it going up the line? But you've got to not go through a sub menu of those, at least those three shots. Maybe there's something more, but you've got to have some real clarity as this ball is coming in. And right now you've, you've already decided based on a couple of things, maybe what you've shown him in this match up to this point, maybe you've, you've, you've been in this situation once or twice or more before, and you've gone in a certain direction. And maybe this time you're thinking, you know what, I'm going to try something different. I don't know. Um, maybe it's based on spacing, right? Maybe it's based on the fact that it, Glenn's going, you know what, the best spacing I've got here is to go in a certain direction. But again, since it's a two shot mindset, you have the ball, you get to take your time and you get to do what we see here which is an extension of the finish, right? It's an extension of the finish. Too often what I see is players right about in here. I used to do this. I'd flip the racket over to the right to get rid of the ball to be able to get ready for whatever might be next for my opponent if I hadn't hit a clean passing shot. And you really want to feel that you want to swing forward out towards your target and extend extend out there. And then I love this little piece here at the end where it's just kind of a relaxed little, um, you know, it just, it's just kind of the swing force, the swing speed goes there. And then there's this nice little relaxed re release in the fingertip and the racket comes back. Now, look, the guy, the opponent gets to it, right? It's a two shot play. That's okay. Right? So whatever comes back, we get to clean up and, guess what? There it is. Kind of anticlimactic. Ball doesn't come back. So what's the message for today? I think you know what I'm going to say here. It's going to be, I want you to take your time on this and I want you to feel like you're extending out towards your target without coming off the ball too early thinking, I got to get ready, right? Trust that you've got time Trust that the extension will give you better control. And also when you extend forward, what happens to the ball at contact? It compresses against the string bed a little bit, right? You actually get better control, better high quality spin. You get a nice power, nice pace on it. And you can look up and, and then decide what's possibly coming back, react to it. And there you go. So, Hope this is helpful. Um, uh, Ian, what's going on there? Big guy. Good uh, thank you, Work. Thank you. Nice to have you join us today, Ian. Um, one of the uh, YouTube tennis guys with putting out a lot of content as well. Look, thanks, man. I appreciate that. Those are kind words. And uh, yeah, um, just like yourself, trying to help people play a little bit better. Um, all right, guys, look, that's it for me today. Uh, any questions, any comments, uh, any remarks, let me know down below in the comments section. i uh, love to read those and respond to you. Uh, if you want to keep the conversation private, we can do that as well. Just shoot me an email, brent at webtennis.com. All right, guys, I got to hit the court, got grass court. <laughs> the boys are out there maybe already waiting on me. Um, beautiful day here in California, Southern California desert. But as always, we got to get out there. We got to help someone else have a spectacular day. Guys, see you again next time.